So here we are in Titanland LOP, Lens of Plenty. First, let's just try saving anything and loading it back into the map. I'm going to build an archway, two archways. I'm going to save this as a save name. I can choose any name. I can even make subfolders. So let's go with test archways and save this. It finished saving. So I can delete myself and request the save name I just created. And let's let's see if it works. You can see on the top corner of your screen that the save and load system has detected a save request and has just loaded it back into the game. All right, um, now let's see how we can save terrain, right? Because that's important. So let's see. Let's create a terrain modifier and let's make some wasteland rocks. Uh, a very big patch of wasteland rocks and create a rect generator. Okay, so we have a rect generator and we can just press H or use this skill here, create destroy and expand the region using expand with W and D. So let's expand it to about this size and we're gonna save this patch of land. So to save a patch of land, it's not the save command, it's the T sav command for terrain save, right? So T sav um let's save this as test terrain one okay so we save this and let's just use the terrain modifier to create some dirt and see if we can load back what we just changed so request test terrain one right you can see on the top corner of your screen, it's found the save request and has just saved back the terrain. As you can see, it's not very precise because of how terrain in Warcraft 3 works and how the rec generator is set up. So you'll have um, to take that into account. With the save system, you can also save trees and the way to do that is pretty similar to saving terrain. You need a rect generator. You can get one with the hyphen or minus rect R E C T command. Since we already have one here, let's use this one. Okay. Let's save it. So the command is hyphen D sav instead of TSAV, right? And remember for saving terrain and trees, you have to be selecting the rec generator which encompasses the region you want to save. So DSAV test trees, okay? We finished saving. So let's select the special deco and remove these trees here. So remove this one and this one. And now let's request test trees. You can see on the top left corner that the request was found. And now we loaded all the trees that were here before and it's all working. So 
yeah those are all the save commands and now let's try and load a very big base and see how it works out and to load big things you have to keep in mind that the Titan has to increase the the amount of units that can be loaded into the map and this can be done with the hyphen load limit command so let's set it to the maximum of 9999 and let's request my save which is ferris sandbox capital units and you can see with very big files you tend to wait a lot to get this working you can edit uh, in the settings folder of your safe system the typing speed file but I wouldn't recommend doing so but you can try and edit it and see if you can find a typing speed that works better for you but this base has like a, a thousand something units and it takes a minute or so to load everything in there we go everything is loaded you can also see that it retains the rec generator size so if you have um, weather set on the rec generator it will save the, the rec generator size but not the weather so you have to set the weather back to the one you want and let's try out the terrain so hyphen request ferris sandbox capital terrain It found the save and now it's loading it in and there we go a pretty big base took me a few hours I think to set everything up originally and it's back here everything is loaded and we just saved one hour of playtime in the role-playing map so this is the advantage of the save system and I hope with this tutorial you have a basic grasp of what it can do. And thank you for watching and until next time.